Well, the best part of hockey is just going out there and having fun. It's been said by those who play it that every day is a great day for hockey. It's just a great sport that, you know, you can compete, but then have fun at the same time. Be around the team, have fun, is probably the most important thing to be and, you know, come with a, with a smile to the rink every day. But some days those smiles Pucks flying by or sticks going by. It can get rearranged. It can happen just as easy as, as, as anything. Ask just about anyone on the Rochester Americans. I got like cross checked in the face, I remember. Uh, so I uh, chipped the teeth here. And they'll have a story. Yeah, uh, stick misses and gets guys up high in the mouth and it got me uh, right in the lip. You know, I got a puck right in the mouth from a, a slap shot and uh, lost all front four of my, my teeth. I didn't want to take my mouth guard out because I wasn't sure of if all my teeth would come out with it. In hockey, missing teeth are common. Seven, eight guys, maybe more, maybe half of the team. That's why professional hockey teams keep a dentist nearby. It's a requirement. He got hit with a stick. Ned Nicosia sits behind the Amherst bench at all home games. We've gone scrambling on the ice looking for a tooth that was knocked out because with something like that, time is really of the essence. For the longtime team dentist, current and former players are some of his best clients. All the guys can't say enough about him, and um, you know he's just great to have around. I love sports, and I love dentistry. Combine both. Uh, I get to tell my wife that I'm working um, as I go to the games. The sounds from the rink sure beat the sounds coming from Nicosia's other office. Assistant coach and former player Chris Taylor knows this chair well. Can you get under this okay? Mm -hmm. And everything's comfortable? Yeah. Once his playing days were done, Nicosia took Taylor's former gap tooth smile. It's embarrassing almost. And filled it with implants. It's a lot harder when you're missing a tooth here and there, and it's I was missing four, so it was very it's very hard for me and I you know, just to regain your smile. Those are very rewarding because you take someone how they are from the beginning, missing several teeth and just the smile on their face when they're done and just so happy with the way that they look. Taylor now wears a mouth guard while he's coaching, something he didn't do as a player. It's a different mindset for sure. It's uh, it's no fun losing your teeth for sure. Nick Asia says 90% of Amherst players now wear them as well. When I started introducing mouth guards, it met, was met with much resistance because losing a tooth really was a badge of courage. Um, you're a real hockey player. The dentist hopes to make hockey smiles a thing of the past. It's happened, and uh, it's not fun when it happened, you know, uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a part of a game. Seth Voorhees, Time Warner Cable News.